Okay, so now we're moving on to the next assignment where you're going to create a 3D planner map. You're like, what the heck is that? Actually, you're going to be given a planner map and you're just going to add your artwork to it. So this is another 3D thing. It's kind of fun and cool, actually. It's not too hard. You've already done the artwork. Um, you're going to take your place print and you're going to put it somewhere on the planner map. So this is where Photoshop comes important. And this is where I truly believe Photoshop is going to be more important in the fashion industry. I know right now for designers, Illustrator rules, but I think with 3D, we really need to get more comfortable at Photoshop as well. So what you're going to do, we're going to go back and we are going to use our um, Tuka 3D Designer Edition Visualizer app. And remember when we loaded the item, we had, um, we went you know, through a really long thing, like through C, Tuka Data, then we did um, Tuka 3D Data, then we did Styles, and we chose whatever we wanted. I just did women, knit tops, shirts, and curved hem. And then we had two choices. So when we did it all over print, we just did this top one. But this time, we're going to do the planner map. And I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm kind of new to 3D2, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm going to double click it. And um, OK, so here's the e-design file. Again, to open in our visualizing Tuka 3D software, the file extension has to be e-design. That's a little different than you know another file. OK, so now it's blank. It's empty. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up the JPEG in Photoshop. So you'll need to go to Photoshop. I actually already did one, so let me do a new one. File, open. Let's do that thing. C drive, Tuka data, Tuka 3D data, styles, women. I did knit tops. I chose t-shirts. I chose curved hem v-neck. Now click on the planner map folder. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is click this file that says curved hem v-neck default.png. This is a PNG file and just say open. Now, um, right now it's probably a good idea to go file, save as, and give it a new name because we always want to keep the default around. So this could be a colorway. Maybe it's colorway one and hit save. And what you're going to do is you're going to open up your artwork and place it in Photoshop on the shirt. This is the front, the V-neck, and this is the back. These are the sleeves. And place it wherever you want. Add whatever artwork you want. You're going to use the skills that you've already learned in Illustrator and changes. Now, the only thing is you cannot move any of these pieces. So, like, if I selected the shirt, you can't move it because then it won't work. Okay? Plan Z. This is like a map that wraps around the program. So these pieces have to stay put, but you can put stuff on top of it. And that's what I did over here. I found some artwork. I changed the background. You can see I have some layers here, added some stripes. I made the sleeves black and I made the little rib trim black, uh, black as well. And I saved it as um, I called it instead of colorway one, I called it vote. Um, and then I did save as a PSD, but after you save as a PSD, you have to go export, quick export, right? and save it as a PNG file. So you have it there. there. I already have it. It's gonna ask me if I wanna save on top of it. Sure. Okay, so once you make this, this is the challenge. I want you to practice those Photoshop skills you've been learning. Take the artwork you already drew, um, the place print one, and put it on this planner map. And then you're gonna go back. And now when you do your texture tab, you're going to um, say to all, to all is really the only choice when you're in this mode. And now we got to go find it. <laughs> so C drive, Tuka data, Tuka 3D data, styles. I chose women. I chose knit tops. I did a t-shirt. I did the top one. And planner map. Okay. Let's find it. I don't see it. Oopsies. Uh-oh. Okay, never mind. That was a bad example. Let's try this again. <laughs> um, add texture. Is that what I wanted to do? Wait, no, 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 no. I can do this. I just did it. Oops. Where did she go? Okay. 
Um, what? Build color opacity. Yeah, it's texture. Apply. Sorry. Instead of to all, choose apply. Tricky, tricky. Okay. Um, it didn't make me go through it all. That was nice of it. It left in that folder. And suddenly I can see all these different files. So here's the one I want is this one. I'll say open. And instead of placing it like a print on the shirt, it like changes the whole thing. Did I say cancel? Oh my Lord. Let's try this one more time for fun. Oh, you know what? It wasn't selected. Oh, I love when I make these little mistakes because you guys will probably make them too and be like, Kyla, it's not working. <laughs> Okay, so it has to be selected. Notice how I can't select just the sleeve. Like the other one, we could select them individually. This one, no deal. You're doing the planner math, it's the whole thing. It's all or nothing. Needs to be selected. Okay, third time's a charm. Apply, click, open. Hey, there we go. So now it's in my 3D artwork. So this is kind of cool because you can keep this open and you can also keep um, Photoshop open and make like live changes. If you're like, oh, I don't think I actually like the placement of that, you know, um, I'm on the right layer. You can like move stuff around maybe if you're like, it should be up here. And um, then just do a file save and then a file export, quick as PNG, save on top. Yes, we don't want a new one. Save it on top because we're changing it. Um, let's see here and let's go back and look at it. And then, oh, actually I actually didn't update it like I thought maybe it will in a minute. Hold on. Let's see if it'll, doesn't look like it is. So anyways, I'll just hit texture. I'll select the whole thing. I'll click texture apply and I'll just grab it again. There you go. See, it moved it for me. So um, anyways, this is just another way to work as well. And um, yeah, let me know how this goes for you. This is why Photoshop's becoming more and more important. And um, when you're done, go ahead and do your render and um, save it. So again, with the render, if you wanna add the background, you're welcome to, you don't have to, you can change it to a color. If you do add a background, don't forget to hit path and then do cycles until it gets to 200. That's the best quality, I recommend just doing that. Um, okay, let me know if you guys have any other questions.